Hey, good morning, folks. It's the beginning of a new week, another Monday morning, so we want to start it off right. We're going to jump into the Word, have a few morning minutes in the Word. We've been in the book of Psalms a good bit lately, and we're going to, we're going to continue that and look in Psalm 139 this week. Now, there's a, this is kind of a long psalm. There's a lot to it. And so we're not going to cover everything. We'll probably this week just cover about the first six verses. And maybe we'll stay two or three weeks in Psalm 139. But today we're just going to look at the first couple verses. Okay. They say, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. You know, when we think about our Lord, And think about what he knows. You know, you've probably uh, learned the different terms. You know, he is omnipresent. He is omnipotent, you know, meaning omnipresent. He's everywhere. He's omnipotent. He has all power. And then there's also one called omniscient, which means he knows everything. Now, that's a comfort sometimes. And that's also kind of uh, scary at other times, because that means when we do something wrong, God knows about it. We, We can't hide from him. Remember Adam and Eve in the garden, they couldn't hide from God. Even though they were trying to, he, he said, you know, hey, well, why are you trying to hide from me? You know, and remember Adam, you know, we were we were naked, we were ashamed. And God said, who, who told you that? And again, it had to do with them uh, disobeying God and, and listening to the serpent and, and sinning for the first time. But so that's a scary time. But then, you know what? When you're hurting and you need comfort, uh, it's a comfort to know that God knows that you're hurting and is there for you. When you need, uh, you know, a something and maybe you're too scared to ask, it's nice to know that God knows what you need already. It's nice to know that God is there for us and he knows all of our thoughts. It says, you know, afar off. I mean, it, it feels like sometimes maybe that we are far from God. Remember, he's not moved anywhere. It's when we stray, but he still knows what we need. He still knows our thoughts. So it, it can be a comfort. It can be convicting, but God knows us. He knows us better than we know us. He knows our thoughts. He knows our, our uh, the deepest longings of our hearts. He's known us. He's searched us. He's tried us. I, I want that to be an encouragement to you today. I want that to be a challenge to you today. Today, as you go through your work day, today, as you go through schoolwork or, or whatever you're doing today, remember that God knows you and he cares about you and he's there for you. He knows all of your thoughts. He knows the those deepest longings of your heart. But you know what? Just like our spouse maybe knows us pretty well, knows how we feel and what we want, what we need, they still want to hear it. They know that we love them, but they still want to hear it. God still wants to hear from us. He may know it already, but he wants to hear. So take some time. Just talk it to the Lord today. Take some time in prayer, talking to him. I hope you guys will have a great week this week. I hope you'll go along this week knowing that God knows you. That's a pretty big deal. That's a really big deal. The God of the universe knows you. Let that be an encouragement and a challenge to you today. You take care. We'll be back together on Wednesday.